Hello friends. In this video, we shall learn how to find root of a quadratic equation using factorization method. In our previous lesson, we took an example of a quadratic equation. Rajat has a rectangular land. Its length is 8 meter more than its width. And the area of the land, land is 308 square meters. We need to find the length and breadth of the land. Assume width is equal to x meter. So length is equal to x plus 8 meter. As area is equal to length into breadth, we get x plus 8 into x is equal to 308. Simplifying further, we get x square plus 8x minus 308 is equal to 0. So now zeros of the polynomial is the roots of the equation. So we know how to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial through factorization. Let's, let's see. The easiest way is splitting the middle term method. The polynomial can be thought in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So here in this example, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8 and c is equal to minus 308. We have to split the middle term b in such a way that its product would be equal to a into c. So here a into c is equal to 1 into minus 308 which is equal to minus 308. So 308 is a big number. We can do prime factorization to find its factors to make things easier. So 308 is equal to 2 into 2 into 7 into 11 using the prime factorization method. So we can say 2 into 7 is equal to 14 and 2 into 11 is equal to 22. So 22 minus 14 is equal to 8 and 22 into minus 14 is equal to minus 308. So we can write this middle term 8x as plus 22x minus 14x because 22x plus minus 14x is equal to plus 8 and 22 multiplied by minus 14 is equal to minus 308 that is product of a and c. So if a into c is a big number we do prime factorization and find two combinations whose sum is equal to b. So x square plus 8x minus 308 is equal to x square plus 22x minus 14x minus 308. Now we take out the common factor x from the first two terms and minus 14 from the next two terms. We get x into x plus 22 minus 14 into x plus 22. And now x plus 22 is common in both the terms. We take that as common factor. So x is left from the first term and minus 14 from the second term. So we get x plus 22 into x minus 14. Now the equation is x plus 22 into x minus 14 is equal to 0. So product of two entities is 0 if at least one of them is 0. So either x plus 22 is equal to 0 or x minus 14 is equal to 0. This gives us x as minus 22 or x equal to 14. These two values are the roots of the equation. If we put these values in the equation, both sides will be 0. That is left hand side will become equal to right hand side. So this equation has two solutions. But we know length cannot be negative. So x equal to 14 must be the, the width of the land and the length will be x plus 8 that is equal to 14 plus 8 that is 22. So solving the quadratic equation is very easy by splitting the middle term method. That's all for now. We will learn another method in our next lesson. Till then, bye bye.